And welcome, everybody, to another Mark Bishop show. If you're in business, you're going to love this one. Is AI making it easier than ever to jumpstart your business? Well, there is a new AI-powered way to easily accelerate your business ideas while saving time and money. And to tell you how, I'm going to have a special guest very soon. But listen, for small businesses, every second saved and every dollar spent is the difference between surviving and thriving. Despite overall use of AI in the U.S. being 73% on average, only 26% of small businesses and small business owners are utilizing AI for their business. So what's, what is the reason for that, Laka Sribram? He's the Vice President of Product U.S. Independence at GoDaddy. Welcome, Laka. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me. Well, as I was saying, what do you think the reason is? 73% to 26%. Yeah, I, I think generative AI is a relatively new and fast evolving technology. And as with any new technology, there is risk and skepticism at the beginning. And in fact, at 26%, a year ago when we conducted the survey at GoDaddy, that number was 11%. So it jumped up from 11% to 26% in a year. But you're right, there is a lot more room for this number to go up. And I certainly hope that number goes up significantly. Well, you are the vice president of product for U.S. independence at GoDaddy. GoDaddy Aero, A-I-R-O, trademarked. It's a new solution, apparently, that saves small business owners time and money by easily taking advantage of generative AI. Uh, It is set to be a game changer, apparently, with small businesses expecting to save more than $4,000 and 300 hours of work a year by using generative AI. Please tell us a little bit more about this, Locker, if you would. Yeah, I'd be happy to. So we take, we at GoDaddy have taken all the advancements that are happening in the field of AI across the tech industry and have brought it in into our platform. And we've built it in such a way that it's really easy and simple for our customers to actually use it. So we've launched this brand new experience called GoDaddy Aero, where we ask our customers to just come in and explain an idea or the concept that they have in plain English. And a whole set of products and features get auto-generated from there Mm. using Aero. So a customer comes in, you just type in an idea, and then a set of logos get generated, website, email account, LLC registration gets triggered, the social posts, email templates, and social handles, and social ads, and setup of commerce. Everything gets taken care of by Arrow, and each one of these is auto-generated and ready for the customer to use. So from the point of an idea to a full-fledged online presence that's ready to thrive and take payment, all gets set up instantaneously in a matter of minutes for you to review and for you to push it out into the wild so all your customers can start paying. Well, it certainly it certainly sounds very Star Trek-y, doesn't it? I mean, it's amazing. But when you look at it for small business owners, $4,000 is a lot of money. More importantly, the 300 hours of work a year that can be saved. In talking logos, websites, marketing plans, social media tools, you touched on them all. But what about um, for somebody who hasn't got a clue, Laka, what is generative AI? A- and how can people use it in their day-to-day workday? Yeah, uh, generative AI in the simplest definition is a technology that's capable of generating text images in other assets. Right. And we can use it in, in our daily lives to help with product, to help improve our productivity in so many different ways. Right. Like I use it for, for building messages and emails and itineraries for my trips and planning like uh, uh, the right team and the layout for my son's baseball team and so on. So there are all of these different simple ways in which you can just use AI 
to provide you with a good platform, with a good starting point. Like instead of staring at a blank screen and trying to type in stuff from the beginning, you ask AI and then it gives, it lays it out for you and you can edit it, you can change it, you can add your own flavor to it if you want <laughs> and send it out. So the time and effort that takes, that goes into all of this gets reduced significantly and you can spend that time in the things that you actually love. And, and the same thing extended to small business owners, right? That's right. All of this time that goes in in this fringe task gets saved and they can spend it in the core part of their business and which can accelerate their growth and help them thrive. Well, uh, there's no doubt about it. And in case you've just ju- uh, joined, uh, tuned in, Laka uh, uh, Sri Ram is the gentleman I'm speaking to. He's the vice president of product at U.S. Independence at GoDaddy. We're talking about generative AI features. You know, I don't understand why do you think only 26% of small business owners, I mean, it's gone crazy, AI, right? But why only 26% mm-hmm. are currently using AI? Is it a, is it a, is it a fear? Is it non-knowledge? What, what is it, do you think? I fundamentally think it's a lack of time. Time is so precious for these small and micro business owners, right? That, that rely on be, uh, like leading a successful business. It's time. Also, it, it, the, concept, uh, the perception of, of it being really complex. Because they see it in the news all the time, maybe. And there are so many different players and enterprises and businesses that are doing it. And everybody claims to be doing something great with AI, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, who do I try? Who do I go with for this particular thing? And so on. And that's where we simplify all of that for our customers with Aero. Like Aero feeds off a whole fan of models and external businesses and internal GoDaddy built models and so on. Mm-hmm. And we just produce a simple, relevant output that best matches your specific use case. Mm. So that whole the bridging part and making it simple for a customer or for you to use, it's significant. Like the whole risk of, I have to spend so much effort, I have to spend so much time, this goes out of the window. It's just ready for you to review and use. Well, uh, you know, when you think about it, small business owners who are not utilizing the AI at the moment are definitely missing out. You can go to uh, godaddy.com forward slash air, godaddy.com forward slash air to read a lot more about this. Um, Laka, how much time and money could a small business save? I know we touched on before 300 hours and roughly 4,000 a year, but you're seeing a lot of different, you know, examples, aren't you? Used by using generative AI? Most certainly. Like the, the average amount is the one that you already quoted, the $300 and $4,000. So that obviously varies according to the complexity of the business, mm-hmm. right? The, and especially as the business thrives and grows, the amount of all these other tasks and other areas continues to expand and evolve. And you'll continue to save more and more by just using AI as your personal assistant or your business assistant and letting it help you get better and better with the core things of your business. And uh, an obvious question would be this, Lark, or in closing, basically, uh, is it good for any business, every business, or, or is someone likely to miss out? I mean, is it user-friendly? It's good for every business. It's user-friendly because we've done a whole variety of user tasks and uh, we've gathered feedback from early customers and we know for a fact that it is user-friendly for everyone to actually try it out. And, and if you flip it and look at the worst case scenario, there's, there's nothing for you to lose because you just come in, describe your idea in one single sentence and you just look at all the things that have been built for you for free. And if you think that resonates with your business, you can use it. If you don't, no harm done. So I would just encourage all of your listeners to go just try it out. And it's in that simple spot of godaddy.com slash arrow, which is A-I-R-O. And just go see how AI can be used for your business. And whether it's a new idea or an existing business, 
it will help you scale. It will help you grow. Well, thank you, Laka. That's good advice, uh, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you working your butt off with your businesses, you could do with a break. Have a look at it. Go to godaddy.com forward slash aero. And uh, our guest was Laka Sriram. He's the vice president of product to U.S. independence at GoDaddy. Thank you, Laka, and good luck in the future. Yep, thank you. Thanks for having me.